friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a soft cataract with mid dilated people. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a small side port at around 1.30 o'clock. And now, an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and beneath this air bubble tripan blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule and this is a bit of adrenaline to see if the pupil dilates little more the size of the pupil is about 5 millimeter and with adrenaline probably it has enlarged to some extent and now the dye is washed out and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected to fill up the anterior chamber and the air bubble is replaced by the visco and now the size of the pupil is about 5.5 millimeter I'm using this utrita forceps by the utrita itself I am raising a capsular tag and as I go along the margin of the pupil I get an adequate sized rexis of about 5.25 millimeter and now hydro dissection BSS is passed just under the anterior capsular rim and the nucleus is tapped and then the nucleus is mobilized so hydrodissection is done and now HPMC is injected again and now is the time to introduce the FECO needle the machine being used is Oatly Easy Faker Machine. The Faker needle goes into the entry chamber with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is used. This is a soft cataract and in this case I am using 300 vacuum and 32 ml per minute fluoride. And as I go at the center, I don't move forward, I re remain there and slice the nucleus. It is very difficult to hold this soft nucleus with high vacuum. So we just have support the lens mass and slice the lens in lens matter in front by the chopper and now emulsification is carried out ultrasonic energy used in this case is 50 percent and now you can see three small air bubbles they are not moving they're not moving much which means I'm working at a distance from the corneal endothelium and the fluid wave is from either side it is going towards the angle of the anterior chamber and it is not directed towards the cornea and now the size of the people has become really small size is about 4.5 millimeter now in this case I am using hybrid IA described by Dr. Ashish Shapkar. First I remove some sub sideboard cortex by the Simco cannula and some more cortex from inferior aspect has been removed and now little bit of visco is injected and then the Feco handpiece 
is being used for irrigation. Its aspirating port has been closed by a cap. And the aspirating tube has been attached to this cannula and it is being used to remove the subincisional cortex and cortex from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock. And the cortical cleanup is done nicely. And now this is hydro polish using just the irrigation for polishing the posterior capsule. And this is hydro implantation keeping the antechamber formed by irrigating cannula and the lens is delivered in the capsular bag. The irrigating probe is used to dial the lens. I can see there are some air bubbles which are not moving much because they are attached to some visco on the back of the cornea. Best instrument to remove visco from the corneal endothelium is by a Simco cannula. Use the aspirating port of the Simco for irrigation towards the corneal endothelium. The side port is closed and cleaning of visco will be the last step at the final lavage of the anterior chamber. About 3 to 4 cc of BSS is irrigated towards the corneal endothelium very gently and few cc is injected in the bag and it is done. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. 3 to 4 cc is the total volume towards the corneal endothelium inject about 2 ml and rest in the capsular bag. And now the antechamber has to be nicely formed. The intraocular pressure should be on the higher side. In this case I could not form the antechamber very nicely with the Simco. So I am using the irrigating proof and just one jet of irrigation is going through the side port. Now I check the wounds, there is no leakage and then inject few drops of moxie over the cornea and conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Hybrid IA is a great technique. You can try this Congratulations to Dr. Ashish Shapkal for innovating this beautiful trick.